Hello and welcome to State Scoop TV. I'm Jake Williams. We're here at the Public Technology Institute's local CIO Summit 2017 in Austin, Texas. My guest today is Stephen Elkins. He's the Chief Information Officer for the City of Austin. Stephen, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for being here. So, so Stephen, tell us about your role and what you oversee. What are the biggest challenges and opportunities in your city? So, my role is the Chief Information Officer with the City of Austin. I oversee the infrastructure, uh, the applications, public safety support, uh, project management, GIS, um, uh, technical training, so uh, just about all of IT, uh, information technology kind of rolls under my organization. That's great. And some of the challenges and opportunities that come with that? So the challenges right now that we're facing is that Austin is just such a tech hub uh, that uh, we have a hard time sourcing uh, IT resources, individuals, to fill our IT positions. And I, I see that problem continuing to increase as we bring more and more tech organizations into the Austin area and as we're seeing an exodus from uh, the workforce from the baby boomers. Hmm. So that's one of the, the, the challenges is having the right resources to support the technology that we, we have. Sure. And, and tell us a little bit about the, the biggest project that you and your team have completed this year. How is it changing the way that you and your city do business? So I'll tell you a project that we just we have not yet completed, mm -hmm. but we're in the process of completing, and it's a uh, the second internet. Mm -hmm. Now it may not sound like that's a big project, but what it's going to do for us is that uh, it's going to allow us to be really aggressive with uh, cloud services, cloud uh, software as a service solutions, platform infrastructure, all the cloud offerings. Uh, right now, because we have a single point of failure with our internet service provider, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a second, then it allows me to uh, go all in with uh, the uh, software the services and the cloud solutions that are out there. That's great. And and how are you collaborating with other cities, counties, federal and state entities, and, and how do you think collaboration can really change the way that you operate? Uh, that's a great question. So uh, so I, I do multiple things. Number one, I collaborate with, I, there's, there's several IT organizations within the city of Austin. Mm -hmm. And so I collaborate with those through our governance model that was set up under my leadership. Uh, regionally, I formed a group uh, called the Central Texas Regional CIO Organization, which I collabor collab collaborate with the, the regional CIOs uh, across the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started off just within the Austin area, but we've actually uh, reached out all the way to corporates and all the way to El Paso. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we do could do a lot of I do a lot of collaboration there. And then nationally, uh, I'm part of a, a global CIO organization uh, that includes Dubai. That that includes uh, the big cities within the, the U.S. Um, uh, if I forget some, I apologize. Yeah, sure. But it's uh, it's San Francisco, it's mm -hmm. Chicago, uh, it's uh, D.C., it's New York, it's Boston, it's Atlanta, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, and then it's the the uh, the Hague over in uh, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And so there's a uh, a group, and we we have a a monthly conference call. Nice. We talk about what are some of our common challenges. Uh, what do we want to do as an organization? Uh, and so just recently, we, we actually went to uh, D.C. as an organization, and we met with uh, some of the Congress folks as well as some of the FCC to talk about net neutrality, uh, local control, uh, and privacy. So, uh, so the group, uh, that particular group operates as a single voice, which I, I think is the right way to approach things. And, and even with my regional group here, mm -hmm. there's initiatives that I feel that if, if we operate as a a large group versus individual organizations, mm -hmm. uh, then we can affect change faster. That's great. And last question for you, you know, how are you and your team planning out and, and preparing to enforce emerging tech like AI, blockchain, and more? So, um, there's, there's several things we're doing. Mm -hmm. One, we're, we're, we're looking at retooling. Mm -hmm. um, we're, uh, we're, we're, we, we have an innovation office that's part of the city. It doesn't report into me, but we partner closely with. And so we have a group uh, that, of individuals who we call fellows mm -hmm. who are bringing some of the emerging tech in. Uh, we're using, uh, we're doing it, you know, to solve real problems. We're using it to, uh, to create test beds and test new technology. Uh, and so we're doing those kind of things. I, I think it's a, a good approach. It allows us to uh, stay stay ahead of some of the uh, the newer tech that's coming out, or, or at least stay informed on what the newer tech is, and then also have our team. I mean, it becomes challenging running the operations mm -hmm. as well as staying on top right. of what the, the the new trends are. 
Um, and then there's a, one other thing we're doing that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about is we have an intern program with high school kids. Mm, that's awesome. And so just this past year, we had uh, some high school kids develop a AI solution um, for one of our city departments to uh, um, the chatbots. If you're familiar with, with chatbots, mm -hmm. uh, they created a chatbot solution to answer questions for one of our city departments that help them with their their the queue of individuals coming in asking questions. That's amazing. That's really cool. So uh, so yeah. So we're doing the high school thing. We're doing the 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 fellows program as well as just retooling. That's great. Well, Stephen, look forward to hearing more about that. Thanks for being with us today. Jake, thank you. Thank you. For more about what Stephen Elkins is working on in the great city of Austin, Texas, check out statescoop.com. I'm Jake Williams, associate publisher of State Scoop, here with Stephen Elkins, the chief information officer for the city of Austin. Thanks for watching.